Professor Adebayo Lukoshi has disclosed that civil society has an important duty in reorganizing itself in order to be able to respond to many discontents of democratization. This was made known at the official launch of Waski Node in Nigeria. I think um, the key message which I wanted to deliver is that at a point in time when um, democracy is under severe threat um, in West Africa, uh, and indeed in the context of a global recession uh, in democracy, civil society has an important duty uh, of reorganizing and retooling itself in order to be able to respond to the many discontents of democratization which we have seen over the last 20-25 years um, across West Africa. Uh, to do so will require um, first and foremost, uh, what I called a repoliticization uh, of civil society. In other words, of civil society being able to define what the key challenges around which a vision of transformation in West Africa can be organized and then proceeding to socialize its membership uh, around that vision and uh, also simultaneously building a narrative that will enable that vision to become the framing uh, uh, context within which uh, political actors uh, are able to carry out uh, their operations. Well, I, I, think, I think my own concern with regard to 2023 um, is to ensure that however it goes and whatever form it may take, um, first and foremost, the unity of this country um, is not in any way uh, undermined by any of the actors uh, in the field. Uh, and secondly, um, that the importance uh, of Nigeria, um, not only um, with regard to the responsibility that it has to its citizens, uh, but also uh, for the rest of West and Central Africa in particular, uh, is one that must be uppermost in the minds of all of the political actors uh, as not to take actions or uh, make decisions of a kind that will make Nigeria a problem to West Africa rather than a beacon of hope uh, for the sub-region. Speaking at the event, Executive Director for Waski, Nana Afadzinu, said that they are very happy to have a liaison office in Nigeria as this will enable them to reach wider population, especially those who may not be able to connect with them online and engage with the work. Today is really for us um, an official entry um, into Nigeria. Official in the sense that it's a, we, we, are, um, we now have a node um, we are setting up a liaison office um, in Nigeria to connect civil society um, in Nigeria to the work and resources that Waxi offers, which is really about strengthening civil society organizations and organized civil society, looking at their institutions, their governance, their management, their operations, looking at the environments that they work in, so the civic space, um, issues that they engage and how to make sure that they have the knowledge capacity to engage those issues, as well as working on issues around resourcing. So for us, we have been talking a lot about how we can look within also to build the resources that we have, have an infrastructure that supports local philanthropy so that we can ourselves use our own resources to support our own development, in addition to what partners we, we do um, with partners. And so we are very happy to be to have this liaison office in Nigeria. We've always worked in Nigeria and with Nigerian organizations, but being here enables us to reach even wider to those who may not be able to connect with us online um, and can, they can still engage with the work that we do. If you are talking about local philanthropy, I believe that Nigeria is one of the places where you have 
really local philanthropy beginning to thrive. You do have a lot of high net worth individuals and other organizations, young social entrepreneurs who are coming up, who are interested in supporting their development with their work and their resources. So how do we harness all of these? But another important part is the dynamism of civil society in this country and what it is that they have been able to do. Nigerian civil society have inspired many of us in the region, in the sub-region. So how do we make sure that this civil society continues to be strong, continues to be strong and continues to enable us to have a strong um, Nigeria democratic project, peace and security in Nigeria and the kind of prosperity that we all When we talk about politicization of CSOs, it's not about partisan politics. It's about the awareness that citizens have a say in their governments. They must have a political stance, demo, having democracy, having that kind of voice to be able to speak what it is that is important, say what it is that is important and participate in your own governance and development is a political stance and that is what um, this uh, discussion is about. We need to be, I mean, the social contract between the citizens and government has been weakened in many of our countries and we need to, as citizens, begin to question why is that the case and how can we solve this, this situation because that is the only way that we can have the kind of development that we want in West Africa. And so that is why there's the discussion about repoliticization. We have to really become aware and we have to organize. We used to have a very strong, um, you know, strong solidarity um, among civil society in West Africa. That has weakened over the years and repoliticization means we have to bring that kind of organizing back into civil society. However, Bumi Dikbo Salami, executive director of BABA for Women's Rights Organization, said that she is sure that WASC will strengthen women's human rights organization. What WASC can do for us is not about 2023. What WASC can do is about 2027. Between now and 2027, I am sure that WAXI will be able to strengthen the women's human rights organizations, will be able to strengthen policies, will be able to strengthen government, will be able to strengthen political parties, and strengthen the advocacy capacities of uh, our organizations and even the networks that we have across the sub-region to come support women, to improve, to change the narrative. We cannot continue like this. And we know that with Waxi being here, it's not going to be business as usual. And so the work of Waxi is extremely important because governance will work because there is an interaction between citizens and the state. And if that is not a strong relationship and interaction, not necessarily negative, constructive and strong, then we will not see the rise in accountability that we need to see in all of the countries on this, in this sub-region that will enable the resources to be spent on the critical issues that will deliver the sustainable development goals. And we in the UN are particularly keen that we increase the levels of partnership that we have with civil society, not instrumentally delivering projects as Nana was describing, but actually as strategic partners who are helping everybody think about what those priorities are and make the right investments that will make change happen. Godwin Oyedema, GTV Africa.